Hey guys, it's Randia from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the Nomad Lane Bento Bag Sport, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. So this bag is for business travelers, has a nice premium look and feel, but there are a couple places where it feels a little bit cheap. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's kick things off with the material. So the main material on this bag is an 840D nylon with a DWR coating. And then there's also some vegan leather accents, as you can see here on the handle. And then you have this also, which has a little in for Nomad. And then also on the other side too. So this is all vegan leather. You can see it actually has the Nomad Lane name there. Hope you can see that. And then of course we got uh, YKK zippers all throughout. There are a lot of zippers on this bag. Um, they all have these really long zipper pulls as well. Uh, the aluminum ones here. So it kind of adds to the like overall premium business feel of the bag but they're also like really jangly as well, as you can see. So that's one thing to note. Um, on the side here, you notice you got this little uh, carabiner clip here, which to be honest, this feels incredibly cheap, <laughs> which is really disappointing for a bag that looks and feels so professional. Then you got this like really cheap little carabiner on here. Same thing with um, this part here, actually, this little leather clasp on the grab handles. So first of all, this doesn't really have any padding or anything, so it is quite uncomfortable to carry it, you know, this way if you've got it fully packed out, which I do. Um, this doesn't really do anything as far as comfort, and the edges are raw, so I don't know if you can see this here. It's kind of heavy, but... Let me try to lift it up. We've got a little bit of like fraying going on, excuse me, fraying going on <laughs> around the edges here, which once again, it's like you look at this bag and it looks really sleek, business, professional, and then you've got these like frayed edges on this like really thin um, piece of leather. So not really a fan of that. And it just sort of cheapens it a little bit for me. But moving right along, so on this side of the bag, you have this um, pass-through here. So you're kind of advertising this as like for business travelers, so you can use it in addition to a rolling suitcase. So you just stick the handle of your rolling suitcase here, like this. And then there's also a, whoop, a pocket here that zips as well which depending on how you've got it packed, like, I don't know if you can tell, but this thing is, is packed out pretty tightly. So this pocket is a bit tight to access. So I don't have anything in here at the moment. Um, if I were just using this to carry like my laptop or like, you know, not going on a trip and I don't have clothes in here or something like that, then maybe this space would be accessible. But at the moment, it's it's a bit tight. And the same for the pass-through as well. Like, sticking your um, the handle of your rolling suitcase in here would be a bit of a tight squeeze. So it's something to keep in mind. On the other side here, we have this um, admin pocket. So this is a bit tight as well. So it's going to depend, again, on like how you've got this packed. but. If you're using this for, let's say, a weekend trip and you have a change of clothes, which is what I have in here, you can see that it just makes this front pocket like super tight here. So let's open it up. So you've got this kind of like admin panel uh, going on, which in theory is really cool, but again, it's like really tight. So <laughs> we got a notebook in here. 
Um, and then we have a couple of pockets on the side. So there's this uh, zippered pocket here, which is fairly deep. Um, but again, I don't have anything in it because it is just is too tight for me personally, and I didn't didn't want to like <laughs> fiddle around with it. So didn't really use that pocket very much, unfortunately. Um, you have these elastic pockets over here and then two mesh pockets as well you can see and then oh there's one other thing that I forgot really quick so back on the outside you do have this uh, charging port and this could be cool again in theory but it is only a USB a so if you got a USB C then not going to be able to use it which is really disappointing um but if you do which obviously i do have a cable here so i'll just stick that in just so that you can see so that goes like that and then you would like charge your phone or something here so if we go back to this um front pocket with the admin panel i just have a power bank in here so this little cord is attached and then you're supposed to be able to put your power bank in this pocket here right but again like the pocket is deep and also tight which is a bit of a problem so it goes like down pretty far so that should be fine but then when you're trying to zip it up as you can see it it gets sort of like stuck there it's a little bit tight right so you could just not put it in that deep and then it would be up here but then you have like these cords sitting here and it's still like a bit difficult to zip. So either way, um, if you wanna actually utilize that feature and utilize the charging port, it's definitely something to be aware of. And again, if you have less stuff on the inside in the main compartments, which we'll look at in just a second, maybe it's not that much of an issue, but kind of defeats the purpose of, you know, having a bag for business travel and being able to take a change of clothes if it's gonna make the, the pockets tight. So um, these pockets here on this side don't really have a problem with. These are pretty spacious. So I've just got like some gum and J. Bergistas in here. And then you've got a few pen slots on this side too, if you can see. One, two, three. And then another like really small pocket, which I'm not really sure what you'd put there. It, it's also a bit tight, unfortunately. Then there's also a uh, key clip here too. So let's zip that back up. Tight zip. <laughs> I'll just take this back off. Okay, so the first uh, set of compartments that you have here this is one for a DAP kit, and then the other one is for a tech kit. So these are both actually included in the bag. So you get this, you know, little plastic uh, toiletry bag slash DAP kit here. And then you have this one, uh, which is a tech kit. And once again, like, a bit disappointed in these because they just really feel cheap. <laughs> to be honest, I think you would be better off um, buying a different tech bag and dot kit separately and then just putting them in these um, in these spaces. These are fine. There's nothing like totally wrong with them. Obviously, like they work and they'll hold your stuff, but they just don't feel as nice as the rest of the bag does. And if we open this little tech kit here. So you've just got like big mesh pocket on this side, um, some open space. A little pocket here and then like a little elastic loop for your cables this loop is actually pretty loose so it'll just kind of be like hanging around there not really a huge fan of that either but that's what it is so yeah I would definitely use a different uh, tech kit here with that Let's stick those back in there Okay, now, so if we get onto the main compartment of the bag, this one here, ta-da, you'll be able to see a little bit better. So we have this uh, mesh pocket here. 
where you can put uh, clothes or shoes. So I've just got a laptop stand, shemog, and some shoes. So this bag also comes with these shoe bags here. So you can pack a change of shoes. And then these are the the dop kit and the tech kit. So you can see like those pockets are are meant to fit those particular kits. Um, but if you have a smaller tech kit or dop kit of your own, um, they still can fit in here as well. So then, yeah, you've got a little bit of space here. As I said, I had the shoes in here. But if you can see, this is also a bit, <laughs> bit of a tight squeeze too. It takes just like a bit of maneuvering. So you can definitely get your shoes in here. Um, these are running shoes. So I don't know if you got like smaller feet or a <laughs> different type of shoe then maybe they would fit better but for me personally it just wasn't like wasn't like a big selling point because it is kind of tight but you do have the mesh zip here so even if it is a bit tight you know it'll still close and that's fine on the other side is where we have the laptop sleeve so I believe this fits up to a 16 inch laptop. So my laptop in here, you have this additional sleeve where you can put like a tablet or a notebook. Um, I just have a keyboard in there. Let me move that out the way. Oops. And then it just has this like elastic and Velcro, sorry, Velcro <laughs> closure at the top here which if I just put my laptop back in really quick, you'll see it doesn't really hold it in like super tight or anything, um, but it's still kind of like nice to have there for peace of mind. So let me take that back out. And then we've got another zipper here. So you can use this zip to access the other side of the bag, which is where you would put clothes. So there's actually two ways to access it. There's this zipper that's here behind the laptop sleeve. And then if we close that up and look at the other side. You've got another zipper, zipper excuse me, here on the other side to access that as well. So I just have one um, Heim Planet packing cube in here and then an extra sweater. And that's really not a lot of clothes. So I think inside the packing cube, I've just got like two pairs of pants, two t-shirts um, and a pair of leggings for the gym. And then the sweater. So there's still some space left where you could put some more clothes in here, but it's already like quite tight and you can already see how like, you know, it's kind of bowing in a bit here. And that's where the pass through is on the other side that I mentioned earlier, that's already getting like kind of tight. This pocket is a little bit tight. So the more clothes you put in here, obviously the tighter it's gonna be. So definitely something to consider um, when you're packing this thing out. So the last thing here is the cross body strap. This one is actually really nice. So it has a nice amount of padding here. There's a little bit of uh, foam and also mesh for breathability. So this was actually comfortable to carry uh, when the bag was full, as opposed to this, <laughs> this thin leather one that I mentioned earlier. So that's that. So there you have it, the Nomad Lane Bento Sport. Check out packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that help support the channel at no additional cost to you. We'll leave the link down in the description below and we'll see you in the next video.